I am disappointed in that the input from the ministries are not taken into account. Um, and, and the ministries are the ones that understand how to run this government. This, the FOs, the CEOs, the AOs, and all their administrative staff, the engineers, they know what should be done and how it should be done. And then you have somebody in another ministry that's in charge of the distribution that just comes and say, well, we're not do that. And they don't know why. Um, and, and that affects everything. So I think a revamping of how we run government is, is important. I can only speak of my experience. We spent months at this ministry with all the departments, the engineers, the administrative staff. We sat with our FO. We, we analyzed how they used to do it before. We, we put all our figures together and then the Ministry of Finance sent us a ceiling. So we said, all right, we understand you're going to ceiling. We submitted our report based on that ceiling. But what we did is we said, all right, within that ceiling, this is how we want to spend this. This is how we want to do this. They came back and said, all right, we will reduce your ceiling countless times. And we said, fine, every time we accept it, we accept that you reduce our ceiling. But this is how we believe whatever you left for us is how we will be spending it. Lo and behold, when I got into the House of Representatives, I, I got some, some um, line items that were totally opposite to what we proposed. And so who made that decision? Why were we not consulted? Um, and in our case, we, we try to be as professional as possible. Um, and we mentioned it to the Ministry of Finance and they said, oh, sorry, I never get back to you, but we had to do it. Fine, I don't got a problem with you making any changes. I understand we are going through a difficult time. I understand all of that. But the role of each ministry, that is why you have professionals in each ministry. If you are telling us that our responsibility is infrastructure development and housing, then who better to do infrastructure development and housing than us? And so if we are telling you that yes, we will abide by our numbers, but this is how we believe it should be placed because it is for the best and efficient way of mood. I think, I think that at least um, you should listen and respond um, positively or negatively. So I believe we inherited a system and players that are still within the Ministry of Finance that do what they want. And so there's a level of arrogance that is felt between all the players and then you get resistance. And I'm not criticizing my government. We are four months into this thing I'm repeating, but there is a problem. You have identified a, an issue, something that needs to be fixed. What are you going to do? How are you going to go? I've already voiced, I have already voiced these concerns at cabinet and it has been noted. And I am relentless in, in the pursuit of bettering a system. I have recently sat with the Attorney General to sit to see how we can propose legislation to better these um, ways of doing things. I have discussed this privately with the Prime Minister. He um, understands what I'm saying. And he himself is going through that process of trying to figure out um, how is it that we are putting the correct players in the proper place. Um, but it's not easy. Um, but I think it can be done.